Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Um, another video about how you can get your free virtual machine in the clouds. And previously I covered a video about AWS and also the Google Cloud. So now I guess it's time for the Microsoft Azure. And if we are looking on all of the free services and resources that the Microsoft actually offers us, probably the best page to look on is this one. I will throw the link also in the description where you can see everything that Microsoft Azure is offering for free. And basically all of this stuff can be divided in two categories. There are some services that are always free forever, like unlimited amount of the time. And some services that are free only for the first year of the usage. And fortunately or not, but a virtual machine, a Windows or Linux, doesn't matter, is free only for the first year. Still, that's quite a decent time if you have some small projects that you want to test out and you want to have this free virtual machine accessible from the cloud. So it's a good way to go. Uh, we can find it here. Go to 12 months free and scroll down until you will see the compute. So what we can see is that we actually have two options. We have the virtual machine Linux and we also have virtual machine Windows in a comparison as example with a Google Cloud or AWS. As far as I remember, those providers offered only the Linux virtual machines. So if you want to have Windows, Azure is a way to go. And what we get is ability to create a virtual machine in just a couple of seconds and 70, 750 hours of usage. And here are the actual compute types that are supported. Don't get afraid for 70, 750 hours because that's like counted for every month and in a month there are 750 hours so you kind of can use it for the whole month for free for 12 months duration and to get this started you just need to create account in microsoft azure so you just need to go to azure.microsoft.com and i think it will be sufficient for us to try azure for free this will require some sign up information about you some billing details microsoft account I will not share my stuff right now, so I'll just fill in all the details and then share with you what actually is necessary. Okay, so the sign up is completed. It is as it usually goes. You just have to fill in your first name, last name, the address where you live, your phone number, email, uh, and also the credit card. Even if you apply for the free services that are free of charge and nobody's going to charge you any money, you still need to validate your person by um, submitting the credit card and. Uh, in comparison with AWS and Google Cloud, where I successfully used my disposable credit cards or virtual credit cards, uh, here it did not work. So I had to actually provide my the real physical card. I think it is the MasterCard and then everything went successfully. I was not charged again, so zero spent, but it is a requirement if you want to sign up for the Azure. So when that is done, you are automatically transferred to the Microsoft Azure homepage um, with all of the services and where we need to go is to the virtual machine so go to the virtual machines we actually need to create a new one create a virtual machine and then it's just a matter of being careful and understand which tier are we creating so subscription that is going to be our default azure subscription resource group uh training uh, vms let's call it like that so i think it's a mandatory thing uh to create it so training vms like resource name can only include alpha alphanumeric underscore parentheses so no spaces training vm this should be fine okay uh virtual machine name subscribe channel region where you actually want to um locate it let's make it europe uh, uk for the sake of testing region uk south availability options so we don't need that availability zone zone one that's fine security type we can leave it by default uh, image Ubuntu or let's say I'm more of a fan for Alma Linux. So I will go with that and let's just uh, double check that for the free tier we have ARM based or AMD based, right? Uh, B1S for ARM and B2 ATS V2 for AMD. So we have... Uh, so we have x64 and as you can see arm is not supported for this image if you want to use arm then feel free to use ubuntu select the arm and then the size so this one is uh which will determine that we'll actually get a free tier and as you can see microsoft azure is so friendly that they even show that the free service is eligible for 
uh, this selected tier. So feel free to choose it. We can just verify that standard B1S is listed also here. B1S, here it is. Uh, and uh, then just a matter of if you how you want to authenticate and connect to your virtual machine, whether with SSH public key or the password. Uh, let me uh, type in something um, YouTube and the password. Yeah, whatever you strong, I will delete it. Uh, nevertheless, after uh, creating a video, so review and create think that should be fine. Okay, so validation has passed, which means that we are actually free to create the virtual machine. Click the create button, it's going to take again a minute or two. So basically what you initializing deployment, so the virtual machine is being created. So basically, the only thing that you need to care about is to make sure that uh, the virtual machine that you selected, if it is a Linux, make sure that you are in one of these uh, tiers B1 B2 PTS V2 for ARM, or B2 ADS V2 for AMD based burstable virtual machines. And if you want to deploy a Windows virtual machines, then it's B1S, B2 PTS V2. And it's actually the same, right? So nothing changes if you change the different uh, operating system. Submitting deployment, again, the second should take for this to finish. Here we can see that all of the associated resources are actually created, like the virtual machine itself network interface, virtual networks, security groups, and public IP address, which is also included in the free tier for your Azure deployment. So deployment is complete, and we can actually go to the resource where we can see that the virtual machine is running. Uh, here is the private IP address, and here is the public IP address that you can right away access with SSH using the username and password that you provided during the deployment stage, or uh, or the key if you choose that as authentication method. So hope you guys learned something new today. Hope you successfully created your virtual machine. Thank you for watching. See you later in the next videos and don't forget to subscribe.